Hey guys, this is Kelton Moore, and uh, this is my official trailer video, I guess you could say, for uh, my YouTube page. So I am a Cedarville uh, grad, and then I'm in the process of getting my MDiv at Cedarville University. And um, for that, um, that entails learning a lot of um, just different theology and different concepts about the Bible. And um, especially what I've loved about it is learning Greek and Hebrew. And so I have right here, this is my um, Greek and Hebrew Bible. Um, and so I can go through and uh, look at all the original languages um, in the Bible and see what they were originally um, saying, which is super cool. And um, just kind of helps give you a better clarity of uh, what's actually happening in the Bible. Um, and being able to teach that um, in a public setting was, was really helpful. And so um, I'm really excited about that and to be able to bring some of that to YouTube, hopefully. So yeah, so one of my favorite verses in um, the Bible, especially within John, is just where um, the author, John, is referring to himself uh, and he does this several times throughout the book but here in verse uh, 2 of chapter 20 uh, he says that um, the he refers to himself as the other disciple the one whom jesus loved and this isn't some you know boast he's not saying oh you know jesus loves me better than he loves the other disciples and it's also not a um, denigration either he's not saying oh i'm not even worth being named um, versus the other disciples because i'm you know just less than um, that's not it at all, actually. Um, the first point is to be able to say, okay, I am the disciple Jesus loved. I'm not putting my name in here so that you can put your name in here too. And be able to say, I too can be the disciple that Jesus loved. And I can walk through um, this book and picture myself being with Jesus and entering into faith in my Savior and Lord. Um, and the second reason he does this is because um, he recognizes that the only thing that people need to know about him is that Jesus loves them. And that's all that he wants people to think about when they think about the author, is that this is a man that Jesus loves. And I really want that to come across when I'm making these videos, is that I'm just a man. And the only reason that I think anyone should bother to listen to me is because I love him. Um, and because he loves me, more importantly. And so um, Jesus' love is what validates and um, just affirms everything in my life. And so um, I want to have knowledge and I want to have truth and I want to be able to speak that well but if I don't have truth mixed with love I have nothing uh, and that's what Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 13 and so as we go through this I really want to bring that out and um, so that's um, one of my main goals is to teach the Bible obviously and to show um, what's going on here and throughout all the different pieces of the Bible um, I want to show the original context uh, because whenever we read something you know it's easy to take a, a quote that someone says out of context and we do the same thing unfortunately with the Bible um, you know there's a lot of verses you could point to uh, where that happens but when you look at it in the bigger picture not only is it more accurate but it's actually so much more beautiful and so much more helpful for our daily lives and so that's what I want to be able to convey to you and I also want to look at the history and the languages that um, compose the Bible and be able to give more clarity to what's actually going on in the text and bring out the original meanings and and just the, the interpretations that we have and why we interpret it that way um, and why they are very helpful, um, the interpretations that we have. But then also my main point in doing this is to show that Jesus loves us and that he wants us to be with him and that he wants us to be with the Father. And he says, you know, in John 14, verse six, that um, no one can come to me, or sorry, no one can come to the Father except through me. And so that's the main point of the entire Bible is that we were, made to live in communion with God and with fellowship with God in the Garden of Eden. And we sinned, we broke that relationship and we were kicked out of the garden. But ever since then, from Genesis three onward, the whole entire goal of the Bible has been to bring us back into right relationship with God. And that's what Jesus accomplished on the cross. And that's what he's going to do in the very near future. Um, and so I wanna encourage as many people as I can to seek that love that he has for us and to find it and to grasp and hold it tight to the promises that he's given us in scripture so that we can become like him and we can enjoy him forever. Um, and that is, that's who I am. That's what I'm doing here. And I hope you like it.